coyote, a personality that is almost as old as the animal itself. Coyote's heritage is long and runs through many lines. Take this specimen, for instance, a breed of dog commonly referred to as Golden Retriever. This one, however, is nothing but Coyote. Coyote first became the character he is now through the oral tradition of storytelling. Today, Coyote's nature can be found in the hearts of millions of tricksters, including the one we'll be talking about today, the one we call Golden Coyote. Coyote is known first and foremost as a trickster, and Golden Coyote is no different. Many times during the filming of our documentary, we caught Golden Coyote performing her tricky deeds. In fact, we often would find that something, like a wallet, cell phone, or sock, had gone missing. Worried that our filming location was haunted, we were ready to pack up. But eventually, all our missing items turned up in Golden Coyote's mouth. Of course, they weren't so easy to get back, but a fake injury usually did the trick. The element of surprise is important to Golden Coyote, so she likes to keep her tricky plans a secret. However, we know Golden Coyote is up to something right behind this door, and we must move quietly in order to catch her in her planning. Boy, is she quick. Well, never mind, we'll get her next time. Of course, Golden Coyote doesn't always perform her tricks with bad intentions in mind or for her own amusement. Although Golden Coyote looks to be purposely irritating this helpless victim, she is actually providing a much needed wake up service. No matter what Golden Coyote's intentions are, she manages to both irritate and amuse those around her. However, she also manages to teach sometimes on purpose, but we mostly can learn from her by her example of foolishness, a trait which we all share whether we like it or not. For instance, with such a great success in fooling others, Golden Coyote tends to get a bit of an ego about her. Often, she feels the need to tell others exactly how great she is. In fact, our crew got caught many times by her, and we were forced to listen to her ramble about herself for hours on end. In some native traditions, Coyote is considered to be the creator of the universe. Golden Coyote, however, is not. But if you ask her about the universe, she'll tell you she's both the creator and the center of it. It goes without saying, then, that she often thinks she's better at everything than everybody else. And in a not-so-rare moment, she gets the idea that she can make a better film than our crew, stealing the camera in an effort to show us up. I give it about two stars. Pretty original, but the camera angles could use some work. All kidding aside, Golden Coyote's foolish ego can teach us about our own egos. And in order to not be as foolish as she can get, 
we should learn to keep our own egos in check. Golden Coyote is more like us than we think, and a lot more than she'd like to admit. Like all of us, she has moments where she needs help, although she may be a lot more stubborn in accepting it than you or I. And what's Golden Coyote's biggest downfall, you may ask? Doors. No matter what, Golden Coyote is still human. Well, kind of. And she still has her own weaknesses and faults. And we should all learn to accept those things in her, as well as in others, in order to get along better. And that is Golden Coyote's most important lesson. <laughs>